Hi guys, Julie here. Welcome to another tutorial. In today's video, I am going to show you how to crochet the bow on my shoulder sweater. It's very easy to make. I had only six hours to finish this. So let's see what we need and get started with the tutorial. Enjoy! So to make this sweater, I'll be using this yarn. It is 100% Pima cotton. It's very soft. I'm going to need 500, 500 grams of this yarn. The sweater that I'll be making is going to be a size a small, medium. So for a, for a larger size, you are going to need um, more of the yarn. And let me give you some information. So it has 50 grams, 110 meters. The recommended needle is um, from a 4 to 5 millimeter. But uh, for this sweater, I'm going to use a 6 millimeter crochet hook. You are also going to need scissors some stitch markers, yarn needle for the sewing and to weave in your loose ends, and also a measuring tape. So, um, as I said, the um, sweater is going to be a size small, medium. My bust measures um, 90 centimeters. So, if you are using another yarn or for another size, you are obviously going to measure your bust and divide it through two. The pattern that I'll be using it's going to be a multiple of six plus one. So let's get started. Okay, so here is my sketch for for the sweater. So go ahead and make a screenshot if you want to. And now let's get started with the front panel. So we are going to make two panels, one for the, for the front and one for the back panel. And um, for the front and also for the back panel, you are going to chain a total 56. So again, if you are working with another yarn, you obviously need to chain more or less, depends on what kind of yarn you are going to use. The um, front and the back panel are 55 centimeters wide and 65 centimeters long, so you can also change. Uh, this measurement. So go ahead and chain a total of 56. Okay, so I'm going to work a small sample with you because I've already made all of my panels. So this one here is the front panel. So chain um, 56. And then once you have your chain done, then you are going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook and then make one single crochet in each chain till the end. You are going to end up with a total of 55 single crochets, so which is a multiple of 6 plus 1. Okay, so this row of single crochets is just a, a foundation row. Now we are going to start with our pattern and for the front panel, you are going to work this pattern over um, 37 rows and then you are going to split for the neck opening. So let me show you how this pattern pattern goes so it goes over two rows so it is a multiple of six plus one and goes over two rows a repeat of two rows so for the next row you are going to chain one this is going to be your turning chain and single crochet in your very first stitch 
Now we are going to skip two stitches and in the third one we are going to make a total of five double crochets. So one, two, three, four and five and now skip your next two stitches and in your third one you are going to make one single crochet so this is a shell stitch okay now yarn over skip two and in the next make your five double crochets three four and five keep a loose tension now skip two single crochet in your third one skip two and make five double crochets in your third stitch one two three four and five skip two single crochet in the next skip two five double crochets in the third one one two three four and five skip two and single crochet in your very last stitch okay so this is the first row of your pattern now for the second row you are going to chain three this counts as your first double crochet turn your work yarn over and in the same stitch this the very first one you are going to make two more double crochets so one and two which means you have in your very first stitch a total of three double crochets now you are going to single crochet on top of your third double crochet from the previous row so you are skipping these two uh, these two here and single crochet in your third one skip your last two double crochets from the previous row and on top of your single crochet you are going to make your shell so yarn over and make five double crochets all worked in the same single crochet from the previous row four and five and now again you are going to single crochet in your third double crochet from the previous row so right in the middle of your shell and then make your five double crochets on top of your single crochet from the previous row one two three four and five single crochet in your third double crochet from the previous row five double crochets on top of your single crochet from the previous row two three four and five single crochet on top of your third double crochet and now in this very last stitch which is this single crochet right here we are going to make three double crochets so remember you start your row with three double crochets so you are also going to end up your row by making three double crochets in your very last stitch which is your single crochet so this is going to be your pattern repeat 
So you need to repeat these two rows over a total of um, 37 rows. So for the front panel, you are going to work 37 rows and then you are going to split for the shoulders. Now I'm going to leave you um, the um, chart how to work your how to finish your front panel so how to make um, your neck opening and then once you have this done you are going to leave um, a very long tail for the shoulder seam and now for the back panel here is my back panel you are going to start the same as your front panel so you are first going to chain a total of uh, 56 and then make first one row of single crochets so this is going to be your foundation row and then start with your shell pattern and for the back panel you are going to work your shell pattern over a total of um, 38 rows and then you are going to split for the for the shoulders and make another row of the shell pattern i'm going to leave you the chart for this right now on the screen now go ahead and make a screenshot and work your remaining row so the front and the back panel it's worked in total over 39 um, rows of the shell stitch of the shell pattern okay and now for the sleeves you are going to make two of them um, my sleeve it's a 40 centimeters long and 40 centimeters wide and you are going to start by making a chain of 38 so 38 chains and then work one row of double crochet of um, single crochets excuse me about that so this is going to be your foundation row and then you are going to work your shell pattern over a total of 22 rows so for the sleeves you are going to work 22 rows in total and you are going to start with a chain of 38 okay now for the bow you are going to chain 11 so I have 11 chains in here and in the second chain from the hook make a single crochet and then one single crochet in each chain across at the end of your first row you are going to have a total of 10 single crochets chain one and flip your work and make one single crochet in each single crochet from the previous row and work like this for a total of 45 rows okay so once you have this done we are going to fold this in half like so and we are going to slip stitch all the way down so take first your loop on the other side of your work like so and now just slip stitch in each stitch till the end
and then once you have this done you are going to turn your work the right side out like so and now we are going to single crochet through both both um, sides of the bow like so so first um, make a chain and then single crochet in the same stitch so you are going to make three single crochets in total and now you want to chain one and single crochet in each stitch so you are going to work over these three stitches 13 rows okay so total. after making your 13 rows of single crochet <coughs> you are going to take this um, rectangle and wrap it around your bow like so and now go ahead and go again through this very first stitch like so and pull your yarn through now you are going to chain one leave a long tail for the sewing and pull through now take your yarn needle and now we are going to uh, tackle this down right into place so pull a little bit behind your bow so this is going to be behind like on the back side of your bow and sew this down see this is how it's going to look like and now take your sweater the right side of the work is facing you and the front panel is also going to face you now I want to attach my bow on the left side of the shoulder so right here as you can see this is where the shoulder seam is now take your bow and put it into place so if you want it like so or i'm going to sew this like so a little bit more on the front panel and with some a uh, few simple stitches i'm just going to sew my bow on the left side of my sweater just like so now if you like you can also sew this part of the bow a little bit on the behind of your work so do what you prefer and then uh, meet me back again so this is how i finally placed my bow i've also tackled this up here um, so this is it weaving all of your loose ends and you're good to go thank you all for watching and for joining me today i hope this was helpful and in the meanwhile i wish you all happy crocheting and till next time bye bye